everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I am on my way to get a color change for my nails. I'll explain that in just a minute. Uh, but this is my second car chit chat in as many days, y'all. Yesterday, we had the Honey Dipper. Y'all know what that is. I'm sure y'all know what that is, but we have a septic tank in our yard. I'm, I'm getting down to some brass tacks information here now. Uh, and we, you have to get it emptied every so many years, you know. So yesterday was that day. So I was, you know, took off and went to get my nails done. I already had an appointment, you know, to get my nails done. And Chris stayed at the house. Chris is at the house now. And he will, oh, got a car coming. He'll wait for, it's very rare that we have a car coming down the road in this area. I always, I always do look though, <laughs> but you never know. We really do live out in the country. Uh, so there's another one behind me for goodness sakes. He's turning in. Uh, but anyway, you know, so I chit chatted all the way to get, get my nails done yesterday and I talked about this that and the other thing and I was so discombobulated I was editing it this morning I don't know when you'll see this this I'm recording this on Thursday at 11 37 a.m. I have no idea whether you'll see this this afternoon because Chris and I decided we're gonna go out for a late lunch today so I'm not sure I'll have time to edit this today so y'all very well might see this tomorrow y'all on Friday well so if you're seeing it on Friday you'll know why you're seeing it on Friday why I'm telling you all that is I don't know oh my goodness I'm still discombobulated aren't I but I decided to re-record my car chit chat just because I, my phone got too hot and it shut down on me which which knocked my train of thought off and then I was explaining how hot it was and why my phone shut down and blah 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 I, I was just a mess so I thought I would tell you about the same things that I talked about yesterday but hopefully it'll make more sense hopefully let me explain my nails first I, I did go I had purple as you all know for the last three weeks with it's been driving me crazy decorating for the patriotic even though I love the purple but I didn't love it with what I was wearing you know I really like everything to match so I thought yesterday I want to go get a bright red I want to get changed to a bright red so in the lighting in in my nail place this red looked beautiful but and it looks pretty in the camera there but when you get it out in the sunlight y'all and it looks orange well, I'm not a real lover of orange fingernail polish, really and truly, I'm not. I do love what she did on the on the white nail with the sticker, I love that, and that is gonna stay. But I'm gonna be, you'll see me later, and I'm gonna have darker red nails. And I'll probably walk outside and put the little, you know, how they have the, like the, all the, the <clears throat> all the nails colors bundled together and you can look through them. So I'll probably walk it outside to make sure that I'm getting the color I want. This is not the color I was going for, you guys. And it's going to bug me to no end if I don't get it changed. So I called Van, my little nail tech, yesterday. And I said, can you please get me in tomorrow at some point and change my nail color? And she said, I knew it. I knew you probably wouldn't like that. Hi, how are you? And I said, you are right. I didn't like it and I, I need to have it changed. So that's what I'm doing today. So I'm going to, my appointment again is at noon. It's 1140 now and I'm going to get there, get it changed, come home. And then Chris and I will go back out and <clears throat> go for a late lunch to Longhorn actually today. So, uh, but yeah, you know. I just was not happy with yesterday with my nails from yesterday or from my car chit chat. Uh, one thing that I did talk about in yesterday's video was uh, about my fall decorating. I really wanted to touch on that again in this video because I've touched on it a time or two and I, I feel like I've uh, mm, I never want to upset anybody by saying that I'm not going to be doing something as much as I might have done in years before, you know, in years past. And there's, there's a reason why I'm not going to be decorating as much for fall, <clears throat> pardon me, this year as I have in years past. And that is because we are traveling. Now, 
I'm not going to say exactly when we're traveling. I'm not going to say exactly where we're going. And you all will find that out after the fact, you know. But I just am not going to have, and we're traveling on and off. We're going to be coming and going, you know. And I, I just don't have time to have my house in all, all disarray, you know, and decorating like that. I mean, when I, de you saw the, the, uh, I don't know when I'll show you my uh, my home tour there or the outdoor home tour, but I do walk into the house and you see my bins sitting in the foyer, which is, you know, what I a, a typical thing for me. I'll either set up a table when I'm doing a big switch out like that. I'll set up a table in the foyer, put all my stuff out so I can see what I have and then, you know, plug and play. And, uh, or I'll have the bins sitting there. And I, I just can't stand to have my house in disarray like that when we're traveling and coming and going. So I'm just not going to do that this year. I will be doing some fall decor. And, you know, I, I will be sharing things with you, but not, I'm not going to be doing vignette after vignette after vignette after vignette and doing the front side of the house and the back side of the house and the whole thing. Now, Christmas on the other hand, will be a full switch out, as it always is. I will not skimp on Christmas, and that's another reason why I'm not gonna do concentrate so hard on fall, is because I'm doing, I'm hosting the big Christmas get together this year, and I want my house to be decorated as best as I can get it decorated. And I don't wanna be rushed and under pressure to do that. So, you very well might be seeing me decorate for Christmas earlier than I ever have before. And I know people are going to give me a hard time. Why are you decorating so early? Don't rush the season. Not all the things, you know, all the things that people say all the time that make us YouTubers feel about this big, you know, and there's reasons why we do what we do. We decorate early so that we can give you guys ideas, hopefully, if you like anything that I do and would like to take an idea, you know, of something that I do. I want to be able to put it out there early for you guys so you can go get your materials, try to make whatever, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, you know, my Christmas will be, as it always is, a full switch out, you know, and detail oriented, and we'll go vignette you know, after vignette, after your vignette. I also wanted to touch on this and say, you know, I know that this has been a difficult seven months for my YouTube channel since our daughter Kristen passed away. And I'm telling you guys, there was a time that I didn't even think that I was ever going to come back to YouTube. She passed away the Monday uh, before Thanksgiving. And I had already had decorated Mooney's hutch, which is the hutch that I decorated into the pink and gold for Christmas. And I had edited on that Sunday afternoon and um, I was gearing up to do my home tour, you know, so I wanted to get that edited over the weekend and get it put in the, you know, put up and scheduled on my YouTube. So I had done that. And then Monday is when you know, Kristen passed away. We found her and, and, you know, and all of that of natural causes. And, um, so I took that video down. Actually, I took that video down, but because I had promised you the Christmas home tour, and I know that you guys look so forward to the Christmas home tour. I, when I put that up after Thanksgiving and I didn't even talk, I didn't even talk in it other than just to do a little voiceover at the very beginning saying, you know, uh, in kind of in person that our daughter had passed away. Uh, but I said to myself, after I put that up, that's it. That's my last video that I'm ever going to put up on YouTube. There's no way, there's no way that I'm ever going to be able to do a YouTube video again. There's just no way I'll, I'm never going to be able to smile again. I'm never going to be able to have a creative bone in my body again. I'm just not, I'm just not, I'm just not, you know, I, that's the place I was in the place of complete devastation and horror and all of that you guys you know so by the grace of god and by prayers from all over the world literally from you guys from you know of course the support of my family and prayers and you know i have very slowly been able to get back to some semblance of what I was before. You'll never, I'll never be the same, you guys. I know it, I'll never be the same. Just be, keep going, just run the red light. Just keep going, sorry. Um, 
but I'll, I'll just never be the same because you just aren't when you lose a child. You just aren't, you know. I will say that a lot of you uh, mentioned when Stacy was here that you saw the joy, you know, kind of come back in my eyes and, and in my being. And that's very true. Uh, she helped me a ton and I have felt better since her visit here, you know, and uh, I feel like more myself in a way, you know, since she visited. And I don't think she realizes what she did for me, you know, I don't think that she realizes that. That she was so instrumental in helping me to feel better, you know. But anyway, all of this said, I, I wanted to kind of, and, and you guys are so gracious with me. You do give me grace all the time. You're so gracious with me, to me, along with me. And, you know, but I will not lie and say, I'm going to push myself to do a whole big fall series and then a whole big Christmas series. I just can't do it. And travel. I just cannot do it. I'm not, uh, I, I'm going to be 63 in October and I don't ever want my YouTube channel to become work. You know, I do what I love. I do what I love and I love to decorate. It's my passion has been my passion for many, many, many years. And then my YouTube has become my passion because I feel like we have really forged a great relationship. You subscribers and me, I feel like we, you know, we're family and we we, I'm chit-chatting with you like I would to somebody over across on my, sitting at my kitchen island, you know? And I don't want to give that up. And But yet, I know myself and I'm not going to get burned out. I'm just not. So that's why I'm setting some parameters for myself for my fall decorating, you guys. Just because I, I know that I cannot do what I used to do. Uh, not necessarily physically, but emotionally right now. Emotionally, I can't. And I'm just being raw and honest and straightforward with y'all. And that's all I can be. That's all I can be is raw and honest and straightforward with you guys. If I'm not that, then, you know, if I don't come back with the, then you'll be asking me all kinds of questions. And now you'll know the answers to all of the, all of the questions, you know, because I've, I've been honest with you and straightforward. I've always been an open book to, to about myself. Now there are family members who don't want their pictures and their videos out on YouTube in my family. And I respect that. I absolutely respect that. And you know, as you all should, and don't ask me questions about this or that or the other thing. And you all don't. And those that do, the comments get removed. I'm sorry, but they do. You know, if I want you to know about something, I'll tell you, you know? <laughs> so anyway, I hope that didn't sound too like, Ugh, you know, but it's, I do get a little frustrated when I get some off the wall kind of very personal questions that, you know, I'm just not going to answer, you know, when they're not about myself, you know, so uh, people have personal lives. I have a personal life, you know, although you guys pretty much know everything there is to know about me, but you know, me personally and to Chris's chagrin sometimes about Chris too, <laughs> you know, uh, by default, just because he's my husband, you know, poor thing. <laughs> We have a great relationship. I'm telling you, it just 42 years married and still going strong. And oh my gosh, I am so in love with that man. I am so in love with him. I'm going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Mm. Trying not to cry throughout this. But anyway, I'm getting ready to pull into my nail place here. So I'm going to um, hush right now and I will show you my new red nail color after I come back out. And then we'll chit chat and do some final words on the way home. And I will also show you, let me, uh, as I stop here and in between the, the two videos, I will uh, go ahead and show you, Chris and I did the mailbox decor yesterday morning. So let me, I'll, I'll morph into a couple of those pictures and then I'll come back and show you my nails and we'll do some final words. And then after my final words, I'll put that tour up that I just did before I left the house. All right. All right. So I'll be right back. This video is much nicer than yesterday's. <laughs> All right. I'll be right back pulling into the parking lot. <laughs> 
See you in a minute with a different color red nail. <laughs> Bye. Be back. Okie dokie everybody, I am out of my nail place and here is the new red color. It's very subtle, very, very, very subtle, but so much better. I can do a side by side here, I'll show you the difference. Again, very, very. Very, very subtle, but the other one was looking too orange y'all I just and I don't like orange nails and especially when I'm decorating for the patriotic oh my goodness gracious that would just drive me crazy so anyway I'm done and she didn't charge me a penny I wanted to pay her for switching it out because she zipped all my color off and then re re you know filed them and everything she's very thorough very very good and she wouldn't let me pay her so I left her a tip on her desk and so hopefully she will see that because, you know, I, I don't ask for anything for free. And she said, no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. You never do this. And I said, I know I don't. I said, but I still, you, you know, I still ask you to do something for me. So no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. People do it all the time. And I said, well, I'm not all people. <laughs> and, uh, you know, people, people look at me like I'm funny sometimes. For instance, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get myself straight sorry I'm trying to get myself straightened out people look at me like I'm crazy sometimes for instance I went in to buy uh, some a Father's Day card a couple of Father's Day cards and the amount was like $20 and 19 cents and I had a $20 bill with me I didn't have my purse with me Chris you know sometimes I won't take my purse because I don't feel like carrying it if we're just going to lunch and you know I didn't know I was gonna stop Anyway, regardless, I didn't have the 19 cents. It was $20 and 19 cents. I bought other things too, just not just the cards. But so I paid her and I said, oh, just hang on a second. I'll run out to the car and get you, you know, 19 cents. She said, no, 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 don't worry about it. I got it. I'll cover you. That's no problem. And I'm like, okay. So full well knowing I was going to go out to the car and get 19 cents or whatever. So I went out to the car and I'm like, we got to dig for 20 cents. <laughs> we have 20 cents in the car and we started digging around and we found two dimes you know so I took them back into her and the look on her face when I handed her that 20 cents was like and I said now your drawer will be a penny over and not 19 cents short so there you go <laughs> she went I can't believe that you did that nobody would ever do that and I'm like well again I'm not anybody I pay my way and I want to make sure that you know I, I don't ever ask for anything you know and uh, it was kind of her to do that and you know there are times when people do kindnesses for you that you don't want to you know uh, do something else in return or whatever because it blesses them to be able to do something for you you know and I, and I get that concept but not when it comes to when money needs to change hands you know what I mean like she did a I mean Van my little nail technician did a service for me today and I really appreciated it and that little girl didn't have to pay that 19 cents over my $20 and she did me a service so you know I do know the difference between when when people are blessed because of giving because I'm blessed when I give you know but uh, yeah, anyway, she was just so surprised. And, I, and she says, just nobody does that anymore. And I said, I know, I said, I said that, you know, I don't know why, I don't know why, but that's how I was always, I wasn't even taught. I mean, that's just something I saw my dad and mom do. And I guess I just kind of did it too, you know? And Chris always does that kind of thing too, you know? So anyway, it's a good example to set, right? Alrighty, I'm on my way home, so I don't want to yammer on too much here because I do have that little uh, home tour. It's not very long. I don't think I might have taken maybe five, ten minutes to do that. But, 
I will not be coming back anymore this week. This will be it for, for this week. And uh, I will see you next week. And we'll do some more patriotic decor there in my, probably at my kitchen hutch, my big black hutch or the dough bowl or something in there. We'll do something in there to start out the week. I don't have any more dips for days, recipes ready to give you unless I make something over the weekend, which I'm not planning on doing right now. So, but I will, as I make things, I will, you know, bring you things for sure. So, but anyway, all right, I'm going to let you go. Have y'all been watching the Olympic trials, by the way? I did want to ask you that. Oh my goodness, I was watching the swimming last night. USA's got a pretty good team out there, you know, and I know I have subbies from around the world here, so I don't want to insult anybody, but I really enjoyed watching, watching the trials. I love the Olympics. The Olympics, I, I, I just love to see the world come together, you know, for the Olympics. I think it's a great thing. But anyway, I was watching that last night, so I thought I'd mention that. Uh, but all right, you guys, I'm going to go into some final words and say, please subscribe if you would. Let me say that real quick. Just please subscribe, hit the notification bell when the drop down menu comes up, uh, hit all and give me a thumbs up, please share with your friends and family. And, uh, it's free. It's free to do. It's free to do. Uh, and I would appreciate it. Help me grow my little channel here. <laughs> All righty. For those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness, chronic pain, or have suffered a great loss, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. Hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits to bits to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all of that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Okie dokie, you guys, you've seen the mailbox. So I thought I would just walk you up to the house and up the sidewalk and show you the little bit that we did for the patriotic. Uh, as you can see, we always have the American flag hanging there. That's all year round, 24 seven. But Chris did put up some buntings for me this year. And they look pretty up there. And I'm just gonna walk up here and we'll start walking down the sidewalk. Hello. How are y'all doing? <laughs> Good. Back there. I'm taking a you can see the pool was right back there. Uh, I can walk over there real quick so you can see that. There's the pool. And the patio and everything and the birds chirping y'all I'm so grateful to be here so grateful for where we live and everything so so grateful anyway all right let's go down here and we're gonna look you can see that light there we have it's a solar light that well actually it's plugged in I'm fibbing but you're not supposed to hang an American flag unless it's lit all through the night so we make sure that it's lit and on the side down the sidewalk we go uh, everything is very grown up and we don't have a lot of blooming plants out here just because it's so hot here in Virginia and it's a lot to water but you can see our flower beds are full and beautiful and Chris is really working hard on them this is a wreath, a deco mesh wreath I made several years ago. And uh, it's hanging in there. Actually, I think I made it last year or the year before. And it's doing pretty well. It's hung out here in the hot, hot sun for at least one year and then this year. So I'm pretty happy with that. I do have a spinner that, as you can see, there is nothing moving. It is hot, humid, and gooky out here today. <laughs> Uh, but there you can see, I can't remember where I got this flag. Maybe off of Amazon. I don't know. If I did, it'll be in my patriotic box, but I don't think I got it there. I might have got it at like Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure. But anyway, this uh, is one of my favorite flags. And I got this off of 
I saw a Facebook ad actually one day and I can't remember where I got this, but it's got the Virginia seal on it. A cardinal is our state bird and the dogwood is our state flower along with the American flag. And it just covers everything I love. Virginia. And I still haven't gotten my red gazing ball out. I need to do that. <laughs> and then climb through the forest to get to it. Uh, but then here we go up to, there's another, this one's a little faded. We could use a replacement for that one, couldn't we? <laughs> uh, but here is a replacement sign. Stacy had gotten me the holder. My cousin Stacy had gotten me the holder, but then I found the, this sign online. If it's still available, it will be in my patriotic box. And as we look up, you can see the bunting there. No, you cannot walk out onto that landing. It does not have a door. That is a palladium window up there. So we'll go up and take a closer look at that wreath. I made that last year, and there is a video for that that you can go and watch. That is a very easy wreath to make, super easy wreath. So if I can remember, I'll put a link in the description for the video for that wreath, where I made that wreath. And here I just have a little uh, wrought iron tricycle with a little pot with you know, red, white, and blue flowers and flags and all kinds of stuff in it. And uh, just, these are old, that's an old funky bow topper that I had on another lantern one year. A welcome, patriotic welcome sign. And then, you know, good old Uncle Sam standing there with his flag. Got flags in the milk cans back there. And then here is my old, old, old red lantern with one of my very old toppers on it. Funky bow toppers on it. I changed the cushions out to be red and the, you know, the pillow covers to be patriotic. I got all of this last year, y'all. Nothing is new at all out here. And then here's this wreath. I encourage you to to go and watch how I did this wreath. It's so easy, so, 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 so easy. I got everything on here except for the, the frame and the boxwood uh, swags from hanging swags. I got those from Hobby Lobby, but the flowers and here, look, I got some more of these. Everything else I used was from Amazon, I believe. And uh, I love it. I absolutely love this wreath. The over the door uh, holder you can get on Amazon. I got that from Grandin Road and Chris made it into two holders actually. But uh, but that's anyway. that's it. That's it. Happy 4th of July, right? But this will stay up for the summer. And I, you know, I really do feel that you can decorate for the patriotic all year round. One of you told me that you have a whole room that is nothing but red, white, and blue all year round. I think that's a fabulous idea. Why not? You know? But anyway, all right, I'm going to shut this one down finally, right, y'all? <laughs> and I will catch you next week, and we will continue on inside. Let's walk on in. I'm hot out here. It's just awful, terrible. There you can see my little, my three little bins. That's all I have for the patriotic, y'all. That's it. One of them holds all the old uh, lantern toppers. That's pretty much all that's in there, all my old lantern toppers some pip berries, and this is stuff that goes on the hutch and the desk and uh, the little corner shelf there. So that'll be about it for today, y'all. So I'm gonna shut it down, and again, I'll see you next week. Love y'all bunches. Bye-bye. <laughs>